students welcome back to our channel so students in this video we are going to discuss the unit number one explanation of the subject dam that is data analytics and modeling subject okay so first uh, what we are need the complete topic we will discuss my complete unit we will discuss what are the important concepts you are having in this see first one what do you need to understand you need to understand what is the meaning of value so what is the meaning of value value is nothing about a target it is a mission okay so that is the real meaning of the value in the company or a business so for example here they have given customer satisfaction is the value of your business being ethical being a uh, truthful being a uh, uh, like a uh, truthful and ethical that will be the real value only you know then your customer will satisfy when your customer set will satisfy automatically your business will grow okay so that is the two marks answer important mark okay business value or value will be helpful for the two marks answers okay in part part a next uh, first one uh, you are having a business value what do you mean by business value so business value is nothing about the uh, which will be helpful for the organization to take the decision to culture uh, to make a framework to make a teamwork to make a uh, layout of your organization to make your organization positively for that case this business value will be useful there are three types of business value ma principle beliefs and standards of behavior so what do you mean by principles principles are nothing about like fundamental rights and responsibilities yes so that is the principles like for example uh, act with integrity integrity is nothing about the correctness okay next to taking the responsibility seeking the intelligence innovation new techniques new tools and uh, things you are uh, innovating in your organization you are being respectful towards the others in the organization so these are the various beliefs you need to follow in the organization next beliefs and attitudes so beliefs and attitudes will be helpful for the organization to influence your actions okay so right now everyone has the right to uh, treat with respect yes so it will be uh, like it is our responsibility to treat opposite person with full of respect right you are not having any right to uh, bullying or any harassment to do that any ragging kind of things you should not do that okay next one ma standards of behavior standards of behavior of the business will be a very important practice for the customer point of view where it will minimizes the negative environment of the organizations right so it will be helpful for the to grow your organization it will be helpful to uh, demonstrate your business values like that okay next one you are having ma see here they have given a small uh, formula type business value is nothing about the the total sum of tangible and intangible elements tangible is something which we can see intangible means something which we can't see but indirectly we will get that positivity and tangible elements is nothing about the like assets and intangible is, is nothing about the recognition reputation of the particular brand so business value will be like business value will be there with the help of tangible and intangible elements so this type of diagrams you can draw it in the examination clear next one ma next important they have given means uh, steps to deliver the belief uh, business value Value. so how you can uh, what are the steps you are having to understand your business value means first one you need to understand your target you need to understand your vision second one you need to clear about what you are doing in the project okay next you need to get the project team from which team you are going to work out minimum two or three year like that next you need to deliver the value to the team you need to communicate with your team and then you need to measure your business value whether it is how much it is increasing or how much it is decreasing like that you need to understand you need to get that value okay so from unit number one math compulsory we can expect a business value question okay every year they are asking okay and the next what are the important only that only we are discussing okay not everything is needed for this examination for this subject okay next one ma business drivers we are having the concept of business drivers two marks important so business drivers is nothing about the inputs they are the activities where it will do it will be helpful for you to finalize your results in the organizations okay so common examples for this business drivers are like for example number of stores what is the web website target you are having what is the number of products we are selling what is the sales it is happening like that so that is called business drivers 
drivers okay so what are the different examples of business drivers is nothing about the examples like common examples they have given ma like number of uh, locations stay, staff turnover customer satisfaction whether it is increasing or decreasing yes and on an average how much the downtime you are taking like that okay so like in in your own answer you can write it ma so there is not at all having anything to buy hard it from the uh, material buy hard it from the uh, topic simply simply you can write it by your own so compulsory 200 percent again i'm saying business value is the question from the unit number one just be concentrate be perfect with that topic only clear and remaining uh remaining you can go with the uh, two marks next important concept ma structured data unstructured data and semi structured data what is mean by this three first one structured data structured data is nothing about it is a type of data what it will do it will easily managed by the management tools like for example if you are having any database if you are having any tables like in the form of numbers percentages you can easily manage that structured will be there like clear cut structure will be there unstructured data is nothing about the which it can't email like in the form of uh, emails in the form of images in the form of videos in the form of audios in that kind of if you are storing the data is that is called unstructured data then what is meant by semi structured semi structured is nothing about the partially it is having some organized and partially it is not having unstructured like for example they have given xml json files uh, this type of files are called semi structured structured data okay so two marks important ma okay next you are having big data what is mean by big data big data is a advanced software tools which will be helpful for your large volume of data to analyze your large volume of data this big data will be useful like metadata will be there metadata what it will do it summarizes all the information whatever you are having in the particular uh, specific uh, info okay next one you are having like open data like that uh, metadata and big data is more enough and data analysis so data analysis is nothing about the whatever the collection information transformation cleaning and modeling of the data is there see in this pdf to there are total 12 pages ma there are total 12 pages but we are analyzing only the contents which we are want which we want right so for your examination purpose what is the data is required that only we are taking it so that is called the data analysis whatever the required data we want whatever the data we want in the organization that only we can be able to understand it you are analyzing the data okay why it is important it will be helpful to reduce your expenses it will be he helpful to uh, reach your target customers it will be helpful for the decision making it will increase your production like that clear and uh, this is about the unit number one month that's it more than enough and you can learn this uh, data analysis process also there are six types of uh, uh, process ma first one data requirements what the original data required and next you need to understand the data collection for example you want the data required to the students you need to collect the data to the students then you need to process which students 10th student are in the student are degree student like that okay next you need to clean the data you need to analyze the data and lastly you can communicate with the data so this is the process of data analysis so business value question and data analysis question is more than enough clear so i hope that you have got clarity if you having any further doubts let me know in the comment section okay